Hey, Sheldon, are you and Leonard putting up a Christmas tree? No, because we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. <laughs> Saturnalia? Gather round, kids. It's time for Sheldon's beloved Christmas special. <laughs> In the pre-Christian era, as the winter solstice approached and the plants died, pagans brought evergreen boughs into their homes as an act of sympathetic magic intended to guard the life essences of the plants until spring. Uh, this custom was later appropriated by Northern Europeans, and eventually it becomes the so-called Christmas tree. <laughs> and that, Charlie Brown, is what boredom is all about. <laughs> Thank you for that, but I got you and Leonard a few silly neighbor gifts, so I'll just put them under my tree. Hey, wait, you bought me a present? Uh-huh. But why would you do such a thing? I don't know, because it's Christmas. Oh, Penny, Look, I know you think you're being generous, but the foundation of gift giving is reciprocity. Like, you haven't given me a gift. You've given me an obligation. Don't feel bad, Penny. It's a classic rookie mistake. My first Hanukkah with Sheldon, he yelled at me for eight nights. Uh, honey, it's okay. You don't have to give me anything in return. But of course I do. The essence of the custom is that I now have to go out and purchase for you a gift of commensurate value and representing the same perceived level of friendship as that represented by the gift you've given me. Well, it's no wonder suicide rates skyrocket this time of year. Forget it. I'm not giving you a present. No, he's too late. I see it. That elf sticker says to Sheldon. <laughs> the, the die has been cast. The moving finger has writ. Hannibal has crossed the Alps. <laughs> I know it's funny when it's not happening to us. <laughs> Sheldon, I am very, very sorry. You no, know, no. I brought this on myself by being such an endearing and important part of your life. <laughs> I'm going to need a ride to the mall. It's happening to us. <laughs>
letters appear on the chest that read, If squashed to death you wish not to be, sing of Svati Vaklav and his victory. Wait, who the hell is Svati Vaklav? Walls are getting closer. Oh boy, happy place, happy place. Wait, yeah, wait, if Svati Vaklav was the Duke of Bohemia. You're ten seconds away from getting crushed. Nine, eight... Wait, what are we supposed to do? Seven, six... Wait, yeah, wait, wait, Svati Vaklav is better known as Good King Wenceslas from the beloved Victoria... The song not written by a Jewish guy. <laughs> Three, two, somebody sing the damn song! Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even The walls are getting slower Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel When a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel The wall stop, you're safe! Well, that was amazing, children! How did you know that? It was simple. I combined a well-known historical fact about Bohemia with the memory of my grandparents, me, Ma, and Pop Pop singing Christmas carols while I sat in front of the fire and tried to build a high-energy particle accelerator out of Legos. Okay, continuing our quest. Yeah, that way. There's still four more verses. You know, sing a song and not finish it. Hear the page and stand by me. Without no stick telling, yonder peasant, who is he? Where and what his dwelling? Brightly shone the moon that night, though the who now will bless the poor, shall yourselves find blessing. Better bum. <laughs> Done? I think the word you're looking for is bravo.